If you wanted to solve the energy problem, you wouldn't do fracking. It's somebody else's agenda that happens to fit with their idea of economics and politics. Number one is air pollution, because it's not so much the well which gives off the air pollution, it's when they clean the gas. Because if you clean something out, it has to go somewhere. And a lot of those gaseous pollutants are released and they're toxic. The second one is the sheer volume of water. Uh, it's a problem with shale gas, it's an even bigger problem with coal bed methane that you've got millions of gallons of water potentially which are contaminated to a low level with heavy metals, radioactive substances, hydrocarbons. But what we'll end up with after treatment is a concentrated toxic waste stream which at the moment has nowhere to go. And the final one is the sheer disruption. Firstly there's a disruption to the environment. Every well has to have a mile, um, almost a mile of pipeline to link it to the gas network. So that's cutting cross-country hedgerows, watercourses, that hits nature conservation, it hits farming. But the big one is disruption to community. You have lots more traffic, increased road accidents. In America, they've talked of ethnic cleansing because the rent's going up as the drillers move in. People can't afford to live there anymore. So there's a whole complex set of problems which arise with fracking, and they impact a much bigger area than just the well.